Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video we're going to be discussing a little known feature that many of you don't realize you have in Mach 3 and that is that it has its own ability to back up its own XML file settings for your CNC system. I've gotten many questions on how to back up XMLs and this is a really unique feature in that Mach does it automatically and, and again I've seen numerous videos online where hard copy backups are being performed and believe me I totally agree with doing a hard copy backup whether you're using a USB flash drive or a solid state drive whatever it may be that is extremely critical in that if you ever have a system failure you always got that backup however the software does do a backup and being it does a backup you can also utilize them and I wanted to just cover that feature real quick now again I'm using Windows 10 operating system if you're using Windows XP Vista all the other numerous operating systems out there keep in mind I'm assuming you know how to access your C drive which is where the file for Mach 3 typically will be installed on again pending you didn't allocate it to another installation area on your hard drive um, so just keep in mind, I'm, I'm going to go through this operation inside of Windows 10. And again, I'm just going to come down here to the folder. So once again, I can access my C drive. And you can see here, Samsung Evo, I'm just clicking on it. Boom, you can see here Mach 3. This is the folder where, again, Mach has located all its files. I'm just going to click on it. And you can see here I've got my XML backups. Okay, many of you don't even realize this exists. If you double click on it, you're going to see my folder is actually empty and I did that deliberately for this example to show you guys I wanted a clean folder as we create a backup automatically it will be created and you'll see exactly it being populated now that being said if you're following this video and going inside your own XML backups folder you're going to probably find a long list of numerical backups that Mach has already created now you can load them very simple and many of you are saying what's the instructions well if you come over here Artsoft put in the README text, double click on it, and we'll read it together. This directory is used to hold backups of your XMLs as you change them. If you would like to use one of the backups, simply change the files extension to .xml and place it into the Mach 3 directory. Thank you, Artsoft. Now, again, guys, that is so easy to do, and we can come over here, and I'm going to have her automatically create a backup, and just so we're all on the same page. If you come over here, you're going to find, here's a Mach 3 turn XML. And then here's a Mach 3 mil XML. Now, of course, whatever extension you're using, that backup will be created under it. So again, if you're using Mach 3 turn, it would be XML for that. If you're using Mach 3 mil, which I'll be using, it'll be a backup for that. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to close out of here. And I'm going to go right to my Mach 3 mil extension, shortcut. Okay, I'm just going to select normal print to port operation, nothing fancy. Hit the reset, and just to simulate uh, saving settings, so to speak, we're just going to come down here and click on Save Settings. And I'm going to exit out. Now, of course, due to the fact I didn't manipulate anything, it's just simulating a backup file. If you did naturally manipulate any settings, those settings will be saved. Now we're going to hit End Session. And now what we're going to do is, once again, go back to that same file location on our C drive for Mach 3. Click on it. And we're going to go back to the XML Backups folder. And you can see we have dated 2-22-2019 at 3.22 p.m. Um, this backup was created. Now it's XB1. Why? Because X Backup 1. Um, in order now to use this, all I would do is if I wanted to use it, I would click on, you can click on Copy, which is most likely the best way to do it. You can also click on Cut, but Copy at least makes a backup. And then you would click over here on your original X3 mil XML and you want to delete it because if you go to actually copy it into the folder what you're going to find is that Windows is going to warn you that you have a file of duplicate name type if you go to change it to XML as the extension so we just delete this delete the original click on paste and now what we want to do is change the extension to XML So we go XML and click enter. And now you're going to get the warning if you change a file name extension, the file might become un unusable. Um, are you sure you want to change it? Yes, we do. And there you go. And your backup is now loaded. And you would be able to load that once again once you double click on your Mach 3 mil link or whatever extension you use, whether it be Plasma or Turn. 
So again, guys, Mock is an amazingly powerful program. There's a lot of things in here that a lot of people don't realize. And again, I'm trying to shed light on that because, again, the software was created a while ago. It doesn't mean it's still not up there as far as simplicity, and there's a lot of thought put into this. So again, I hope this has helped many of you. I highly recommend you guys go in, create your backup, always. Um, again, if you're using soft limits the way I've described in my previous videos, it's imperative to have your settings saved should you ever require them. And I don't care who you are or how well versed you are in mock, it's always smarter to have a, actually two backups. You can naturally use the software backup that I just showed you, but also making a hard copy backup is excellent as well. Um, that being said, we can end out of here again. And as we did that, We'll come back over here, and one of the things I want to point out is that if you did want to do a hard copy backup, naturally get yourself a flash drive, very simple to do. Come back over to your XML backups, and you can see we've got another backup created. Okay? As soon as you exit, boom, there's your backup. So, again, mock, super powerful. If you wanted to now, you could copy these right to a USB drive, simply insert it into your PC's USB port, and then create the, uh, just copy these files right over to it, and you're golden. Okay? So, again, I hope this has been helpful. I hope it's enlightened many of you. Again, it'll save you a lot of time should anything ever go awry, and we all know it usually does at the worst possible time. Again, uh, if you guys have any questions, you know I'm always there. Um, things have been getting crazy hectic at the shop, but I'm getting back to you as fast as possible, I, as fast as I possibly can. Um, if you do need to schedule a call or consultation, please don't be afraid to ask. Once again, my email is storm2313 at gmail.com, and of course, that's my personal email. I don't play games with you know, extensions and links. Um, that is the email to contact me for direct support. And of course, if you need to uh, contact me through my eDealer Direct store, I'll put that link down below again under the video and you'll be all set. Once again, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Thank you again.